Yo, this is Spider-Man, and I am completely broke. Spider-Man just got ported to PC, and because I'm broke, I'm gonna try making my own Spider-Man game, but in Fortnite creative mode. There's just one little widow problem though. I don't know how to use creative. Rather than crying about it though, I looked up the basics. Now every city map I've seen before was decently sized, but never the full size of the biggest island you can have. The XL Island, or as I like to call it, the Extra Thick Island. Anyway, enough chit chat. This is how I made a Spider-Man game in Fortnite. First off, we need a bunch of fundamentals. Spider-Man in games can jump pretty darn high. So boom. He can also run pretty fast. So boom. <laughs> fast boy, I'm fast, yeah! yeah! I then started messing around with the city blocks and building placements. I know it doesn't look like much, but once it fills the whole map, it's gonna look way cooler. To help me get an understanding of how to create a suitable city, I looked at New York via Google Maps. Hey, I'm walking here. Bada boom, bada boom. All toasty, toast, toast. Anyway, I realized that there were mostly small buildings with the occasional tall buildings, so I decided it would be cool if the center of the map contained the tallest building, surrounded by other really tall buildings. Big boys, you know, big, big, strong men, hunky men, big, sweaty men. <laughs> now, sadly, because of the view distance, you wouldn't really see the whole city, but uh, whatever. Now, you might be wondering, well nice, you can build the city, but this is still Fortnite. How are you gonna swing like Spider-Man? Well, my friend, there's this beautiful item called the Grappling Glove. They're literally a reskinned web slinger, so it's perfect. Now, a park was planned from the beginning, but I realized it had to be pretty big since Spider-Boy equals fast. Boy. So I decided to dedicate a corner of the map to being the park. I know in New York it's Central Park, but because this totally is in New York, welcome to Corner Park. It's still only grass, but just roll with it. Anyway, at this point I was getting a hang of placing down pavements and buildings, even though it was time consuming. I knew I couldn't just make a city and have it be the same all the way throughout. I would need varying areas. Oh yeah, by the way, before I even started making the map itself, I messed with these things called prop movers. And I thought it would be cool if I used it on a plane in the sky. So here he is. His name is Tommy. I was very proud of him. Anyway, Spider-Man isn't just this weirdo who swings around in a skin suit. He's a weirdo that also beats up people in a skin suit. Of course, I could have just given Spidey some guns, but Spidey's all like, Wah, wah, I don't want to kill people. Uh, uh, Uncle Ben, what happened? Squidger. <laughs> Listen, my point is, no guns. At the time, I assumed actual melee weapons weren't going to be added for a long time. I could have just had the player pickaxe the enemies, but come on, dude, that would look so stupidly lame. So I knew Spider-Man would use his classic, non-lethal scythe on his opponent. <laughs> <laughs> So, while we're on the topic of combat, the music system was done with a ton of triggers that I absolutely surrounded the areas with where the bad guys were, you know. Originally, they were going to be full missions. You know, you'd bust them from the rooftop, go into the building, down an elevator shaft, and then through the sewers until you eventually go into a boss fight where the music got more intense, but it's fine, because, you know, missions aren't the main focus of the game, but, you know, whatever. Anyways, I then started work on the famous New York Apartments area. I thought I'd make the streets more narrow in these areas, as the buildings are nowhere near as big. I also decided to add a basketball court as another area players could hang out in. So yo, homie, let's kick it in the hood. <laughs> Said the inward and predominantly black neighborhood I did. Running for my life I am. Yo, there's that little green nigga right there. Shoot that nigga's ass. No, no. Spare me, you must. Say it again, never I will. <laughs> Around now, I pretty much finished placing down all the main buildings, and the only corner I needed to fill in was the slums. So I did that. Raggedy fences, trash everywhere, rubble, and a tilted tower. <laughs> Get it? <sighs> anyway. Bada bing, bada boom, this thing is finished, oom. Last thing that needed to be done was the park. I wanted a lake in the park, but I wasn't going to be able to do it without raising the land. I tried to raise the land in a hill-like way, but I'm not skilled enough to be able to create smooth hills like that, you know? I haven't gotten a good enough look at your mom, so I don't I don't know what, what, it, what that's like. So instead, I decided to have stairs leading to the higher spot, which did the trick perfectly. The lake wasn't too hard to do, as I already figured out how the water would look earlier in the project. So it was only a matter of making the outline of the lake look natural, and I think it came out pretty decently. I then added pathways, a bridge over the lake, and as well as a statue because, um, I liked how it looked. <laughs> I then added a bunch of trees and rocks, and there you go. Twice finished for now. I noticed I didn't really like how the default nighttime looked. The default day and night cycle had its upsides, you know, you could see the sun moving, it was smooth, it was clean, it was nice to look at. 
but I didn't like the nighttime. It was too bright, and sometimes I didn't even tell. I couldn't even tell it was nighttime. So, with the power of timers, I was able to make my own day and night cycle. I even considered making a weather system using the RNG device, but eh, maybe if I update the game. Even though the transitions from day to night might be not smooth whatsoever, I think the game looks a lot better now with the custom lighting. I added actual warehouse buildings to the slums, and in one of them I actually added the second place where you can fight bad guys. Man, look at how cool this entrance is. You just know the fight of the century is going to go down behind this door. As a final addition, I made a time trial that goes around the whole map as a test of your swinging skills. It's not the best, but you know, it gets the job done. So yeah, the map is done. Oh yeah, also Tommy is dead. I killed him a while ago. No! That was when the video was going to end, but I'm not happy with the map. Something's missing. After three weeks, I kept playing it and I felt as if the map was still really lacking. I wanted my best friend to try it out too because he plays on his PlayStation, but it kept crashing his game. And after lots of head scratching, I figured out it was the time trial. If I wanted the game to be accessible for everyone, I had to get rid of it. I wasn't sure what I could do to replace it though. You know, you gotta swing around the map and some people like to have objectives. But I also realized the time trial would have gotten boring anyway, because it's just the same thing over and over again. So I had to think of something new, something fresh, you know? Yeah, bing bong, check it out, the melee manager's out. This is great! The scythe is great, but it doesn't feel very spidery. Of course, swords aren't very spidery either, but you can dodge, you can charge attacks, and it's a lot more versatile and mobile than the scythe, so I figured it'd be a better fit, you know? Spider-Man's all flexible and stuff. <laughs> I want pictures of Spider-Man naked! So boom, I gave him the spider slicer. <laughs> now onto the issue at hand what to replace the time trial with. Then it dawned on me, Spider-Man is a pizza delivery guy. Pizza time. And there's pizza in the game, so boom, pizza delivery minigame. You talk to the boss, he gives you a randomly chosen location to deliver to, and you go to that spot within the time limit. I managed to make a perfectly functional pizza delivery game. It replaces the time trial, it's fun, and it works. As long as nobody else tries playing it at the same time with you. Um, to give you an idea, think of this redstone as a pizza delivery system. Because the tenant randomly chooses one of the lamps, they want to try a delivery at the same time. It starts to do like a timer. It shows that it's all the time. It's all the time. It's all the time. Basically, it was a really awkward problem, but I'm amazing and I solved it and I'm just so proud of it. Once I got that done, I was done with the pizza delivery system. I thought about adding more than one pizza spot, but if I keep adding more things, I'll never finish. So here's the finished product. That's why I keep them guessing. Is it the money or is it the fear? Which was more of a lethal weapon? You see the curses and the blessings. I see the purpose and the message. Yeah, I see it all. Top of the world. Yeah, I'm on the top of the world. There's nothing you can do about it. Looking at what I've become, I never became a coward. Nothing can stop me. So if you want updates on this game, or if you have suggestions, please let me know. If and when the map gets published, I will update you in the pinned comment, so you can check it out. I'm also going to repurpose the city I built in this video for a GTA knockoff. So check that out here. Anyway, please help this little baby boy YouTuber with zero subscribers, please. And Epic Games, please! I want a creator go to play! <laughs>